homework number 10. So write an equation in standard form for the line with x intercept equals 5 and y intercept equals negative 2. So there are many different ways to do this, but if I did not know what to, where to start, where, what could I say about this? What do I know about this statement? Write an equation in standard form for the line with an x intercept at 5 and a y intercept at negative 2. Mo. Perfect. So he gave me even a little bit more than I actually wanted. So he said standard form is what? AX plus BY equals C. What's the form I know best? Right? Okay. So we said if the x intercept is at 5, here's 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the y intercept is at negative 2. Don't I also know what this is? Y equals mx minus 2. How can I find m? Don't need slope formula. I could count. Even easier, right? Up two over five. So now I have y equals two fifths x minus two. How do I turn this into that? Move around the numbers. Exactly. Would I move x? If I want to, but if I do, I'm going to make it negative. Then I'm affecting the slope of the line. Right? So I would move y and then move 2. You could do it the other way, Jesus, but then you'd have to divide everybody by negative. Exactly. So I have 2 equals my color. 2 equals 2 fifths x minus 2. Okay, now what? Minus y. Thank you. Now what? Exactly. I need it in this form, so I need to multiply everybody by 5. Which gives me 10 equals 2x minus 5. There's your answer. Why am I, why do I keep doing that? I just want to forget about that y. Evan. That's not in standard form. Standard form, it does have fractions. It also doesn't have... I'm sorry? And it's usually positive, yes. It's all actually, it's always positive because if you were to solve for it, then it would become negative. Okay, moving on. Simplify. This is a cubed root. That means I have to go hunting for cubes. Okay, so I have a negative sign, but couldn't I also have I'll do blue. This as well. You don't even know how many negatives there are, right? Because it says negative. Because a negative times a negative times a negative is negative. All right, so 48. How would I break down 48? 6 and 8. How could I break down... Well, 8 is really cubed, and that's what I'm looking for is cubed. Can I find a cube in x to the 33rd power? 3 to the 11th, or 11 to the 3rd? And why? What do you think? The 5th, how many times? 3 times, with how many left over? 1. What gets kicked out? But a negative. 
the negative just, when it's a cubed root, it just comes out. What if it was a squared root? It would stay, and what would it become? Okay, except to me for answering me. If it was a negative sign underneath a square root, what is that? Imaginary. Okay? Okay. So, I have a negative. What else comes out? 2, 11, y to the 5th, what's left over? Radical 6y. No, it started, and we don't have to worry about absolute value when it's a cubed root, only when it's square root, and I believe, but it's a cubed root to begin with. You don't have to worry about it. The only ones that are hiding are the ones that are squares. Right? The cubes show their true face, right? Yes. Evan. Yes, I do. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, moving on. Simplify. What do I need to do to simplify this? Conjugate. Good. 6 minus 11i. 6 minus 11i gives us what? Why do we do that? Difference of two squares. Good job. All right. And if you don't like doing it that way, what other strategy could I use? I could use an area model. Right? Okay, moving on. Can I use an area model with this one? No, because this is not multiplication. Area models are for multiplication. Right? This says the opposite of everything inside here. So I would distribute the negative and then combine my terms. Moving on. But this one. How would this one? You have to foil or use an area model. The common misconception is distribute. Why can't I not distri distribute that too? Why can't I distribute the two to everybody inside? No, you can't. This is the only time you can distribute is when it's all multiplication. There's addition in there. So you have to just say 2 root 3 plus 4i two times. That's what that is saying. Okay? So either FOIL or not, it's not Xbox. Xbox is only when you're factoring, right? It's just the box, area model. Area model. Okay? Why is every one of my boxes like sideways like that? They've all been that way. Okay, moving on. How about this one? You could use long division. You could use synthetic division. What else? It's a quadratic. Wouldn't you try and do the easiest thing you can do? Which is factor it. I'm going to factor it right now. This is 4x and x. What do you think I'm going to... Yeah. Oh, separate pile. Those are for me. Um, so, it's got to be both negative because this is a positive, right? Negative times a negative is a positive. How do you want to factor it, Awesome. How do you want to factor 8? Try. We're going to try it. You, know, you can be wrong. It's okay. Just pick something. How do you factor 8? 
Four and two. That's what I thought you were going to say. Four and two. Four x. Negative four x. Negative eight x. Does it work? No. Let's try four and two the other way. Does this work? Negative two and it's closer. <laughs> Good point. So what would you? Eight where the four is and two and one where the two is. So this way. Negative x and negative thirty two. That works. If you can't do that, what should you do? X box. All right. Or Jesus's method, which is almost like mine. Yeah. All right. Kind of. All right. So these cancel. So you're left with four x minus one. That's easier than synthetic division, right? Well, not really, but synthetic division you can make mistakes a lot easier, I think, unless you're really good at it. Let's use synthetic division. So in synthetic division, you have to only use the coefficients, and you also have to be careful not to miss any holes. Are there any holes here? No. So it's just 4, negative 33. I'm going to do this in a different color. How about a green? Different method. 4, negative 33, positive 8. What's my factor? Good. It's 8. Negative 8, it's x minus negative 8. So my factor is eight. Correct? Okay. So I draw a line, put a little line here because this must be zero. Bring the four down. Eight times four is thirty-two. Negative one. Eight times negative one is negative eight. That makes zero. Bingo. This is to the second power. That means the next one's going to be x. 4x minus 1, same answer. See? Same answer. Okay. This one. What is it? Do we know yet? We don't. Let's manipulate some things. Look, I've got 9 minus m squared. How could I change that around? Negative m squared plus 9. Evan? Okay, so this is the same n minus m squared. We all agree as this? So I'm just going to take a picture of it, replace it. It's too big. I'll make it a little smaller. There. Same deal. Okay, now what can I do with this? This is a negative and a negative. Makes it positive. Now I'm going to start factoring. So I have m minus 3 over both m minus 3 plus 8 times m minus 3 over m minus 3 m plus 3 okay there's two m minus 3's here, one m minus 3, one m plus 3, but can't I cancel one of these? It does help you. Are you sure it was the exact same problem? Okay. Let's keep going. It does, you can't cancel it over here. That doesn't help you. 
right? This one doesn't help you because what is your LCM? M minus 3, M plus 3. If I hadn't have canceled this one and this one, it would have been M minus 3, F, M plus 3, M minus 3. Exactly. And on the other side, if you cancel it, you're just going to put it right back because you need an M minus 3 and an M plus 3. That's why you don't cancel this one. But if you were to decide to make them all LCMs, you're still going to get it right, but you're just going to make it more, com more complicated than it needs to be and have to simplify later. Okay? So what does this side need? M plus 3. All right, so now they'll have the common denominator, right? So I'm going to go straight to that. M plus 3, M minus 3, M plus 3, plus, I'm going to go ahead and distribute now, 8M minus 24. I don't know why I have an equal sign over here. Okay, then what do I have? M plus 8M is 9M minus 21. I could factor that one more time and pull out a 3, but is that going to help me? Right? Does that help? So you'll see it like this. They're both equivalent, but it's not going to help you, so you wouldn't do it if it's not going to help you. Everybody okay with that? Okay, let's look at the next one. 1 over y to the 1 third. You guys are actually making more progress than the other class. So I'm happy now. No more bad mood for me. I do change pretty quickly. I'm pretty fickle. No, you can't. Okay. 1 over... Okay, I could do this by manipulating fractions, but if you look at this and go, I just don't know how she did that. How could you change this? Right? What would I multiply in order to get that radical out of the denominator? Good job, guys. I'm going to do a different color. I would multiply it by y squared because I need 3 total. Okay? What would this one look like? Let's just finish this one first. So, in the numerator I would get, I meant to change my color, in the numerator I would get I can't take anything out, but what about this one? I get y. Let's do this one. What would I multiply this one by? Do you guys know? 2 over 3. If, I mul if they have a common basis, right? If they have com common bases, I combine exponents, right? So isn't 1 third plus two-thirds, three-thirds? Yeah. Isn't that what I multiplied here by two-thirds? The same thing. So I can multiply by y to the two-thirds equals y to the two-thirds over y. These are equivalent. In fact, you're going to see it like that on the final. Okay? But if you can't get there, you can go this way. It's not that much longer, right? All right, moving on. 46. How would you do this one? You would write it horizontally. So, 
2x plus 2 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by 3x plus 3 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. I would take the inverse, which is multiplication, and then the reciprocal. Right? Moving on. Solve negative x squared plus 3x minus 7 equals 0 using quadratic formula. What do I need for this? The quadratic formula. Okay, so Boston wants to sing us a song. So he knows Pop the Weasel. There's also a negative boy couldn't decide whether to go to a radical party or B squared and miss out on four amazing chicks that was all over at 2 a.m. What? I don't know. Not me. But there's a whole bunch of videos online. I've got a couple good ones. I haven't showed you? No. I should show you because you guys have been so good today. No. What? No. Okay. Moving on. How would I solve this one? Move the 9 first because I can't do anything until I move that 9. And then, okay, I'm going to change my color. Yes, Evan, then you square both sides. So I get radical x minus 1. Just try it. <laughs> radical x minus 1 equals negative 8 square square. Why does this pose a problem right now? No. Is that a good idea? So what happens on this side? It's just x minus 1. And what happens on this side? It goes to positive. Do you guys recognize that that could pose a problem? It was negative. I squared it, and now I made it positive? No. You just have to think about that. Think about what that can ca that can cause problems, right? I just hit a negative sign. Okay, so when I add one to both sides, I get x equals sixty-five. What do I do with that? Check it. I need to check it. 9 plus the square root of 65 minus 1 equals 1. 9 plus the square root of 64 equals 1. 9 plus 8 equals 1. It doesn't work. It's no solution. Make sense why it became no solution? Because I got rid of the negative and threw out the process, right? Is that always going to happen? No, it doesn't always happen. But when you're squaring something and it goes from a negative to a positive, you should take note of that and be, hey, I, there might be a problem here, yes. No, I don't. I, I see where you're making the relationship, but I don't think that's something you can, yeah, you can't relate it that way. But I see what you're saying. Okay. This one. Just like a test problem, right? So what's my LCM? X. What else am I concerned with? Not holes. It's an inequality. That means you're going to need a number line. Right? What are you going to multiply everybody by? 
x, right? x is going to multiply to everybody, and I'll get what? 5x, 3, I'm going to say equals negative 2, so 5x equals negative 5, so x equals negative 1. What am I going to do with that on the number line? X cannot be 0. Because if you put 0 here, it would be undefined. Right? So I have negative 1 and 0, and what do I do? Test a point. I'm not going to test all of them for you, right? That's as far as we're going to go with this one. You guys can finish that. There's one like that on your test tomorrow. Okay? Then you would put it in set notation. And that's where I'm going to stop today.